Hey everyone, it's Agronath here, and the uh, story about Hannah Gutierrez Reed just keeps rolling on. Um, so she's put out a statement, obviously she's going to try and absolve herself of blame, but some of the things she's been saying are just ridiculous, and um, I think it's not just her to blame, I think certainly the producers, Alec Baldwin and whoever else is producing it, uh, assistant director as well. Um, a lot of these people have some um, some culpability, but I believe Hannah has a lot of culpability um, as well. So let's have a look at what some of her statements have been, um, just to see how she's trying to spread the blame around to everyone except her. So Rust Armour, Hannah Gutierrez Reed breaks her silence, blames producers for the unsafe set. And in my previous videos, I've talked about how things have been unsafe in this particular movie. She's also had problems in other movies where she was a head armorer as well. So f trouble seems to follow this girl around. So um, I think we need to take that into account. Uh, Hannah Gutierrez read the armorer who oversaw the prop weapons used on the Rust movie set has made her first public statements. Through her attorneys, the 24-year-old... Uh, who's at the centre of the investigation, along with assistant director David Halls, shared her side of the story for the first time about the fatal shooting of the film's director of photography, Helena Hutchins, by Alec Baldwin, when he was re rehearsing with what he had been told by Halls was a cold or safe gun. Previously, only comments Goodhears and Reed made to authorities were released as part of a search warrant filed in the investigation. So she's got her lawyers to um, get involved here. Obviously, you would, as any person would. First, Hannah would like to extend her deepest and most sincere condolences to the family and friends of Helena. She was an inspirational woman in film who Hannah looked up to. She also offers her thoughts and prayers for a speedy recovery to Joel. Hannah is devastated and completely beside herself over the events that have transpired. The statement went on to address untruths that have been told to the media, which have falsely portrayed slandered Gutierrez Reed. My God, what are these untruths? Um, from what I've seen, most of the stuff has been pretty factual. She's definitely trying to um, move the blame from herself. Safety is Hannah's number one priority on the set, the statement says. Ultimately, this set would never have been compromised if lime ammo was not introduced. Hannah has no idea where the live rounds came from. You're the head armorer. It's your job to know where all this stuff is and where the live ammunition came from, right? Even if we did, it, even if you didn't know where it came from, um, how did it get into the gun? That is ultimately your responsibility, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, right? Even if the live ammunition made it onto the set without your knowledge. How did it get into the gun? You are supposed to be in control of the gun at all times and you are supposed to know exactly what has been loaded into all of the guns at all times. It continued, Hannah and the prop master, previously identified as Sarah Zachary, gained control over the guns and Gutierrez Reed never witnessed anyone shoot live rounds with the, these guns or nor would she permit that, it said. The guns were locked up every night and at lunch, and there's no way a single one of them was unaccounted for or being shot by crew members. So how did the bullet get into the gun? She she would have had to have done something, right? Unless, from her checking the gun and giving it to the assistant director, to then giving it to Alec Baldwin, someone put a bullet into the gun. But then there were lots of people around there that would have noticed that, right? There is no... It's still ultimately your fault, Gutierrez Reed, because you didn't check the bullets. Or if you did, you didn't notice that one of them was a live round and they were not all blanks. Gutierrez Reed seemingly confirmed reports there were two accidental discharges prior to Baldwin, who was rehearsing a scene uh, with what he had been told was a cold gun shooting Hutchins. Hannah, to this day, has never had an accidental discharge, the statement said. The first one on the set was the prop master, and the second one was the stuntman after Hannah informed him the gun was hot with blanks. Okay, so fair enough, that could be true. We'll have to get verification on that. But there's still a lot of rumours coming about her previous films, which she hasn't made any statements for. Gutierrez-Reed claimed the independent film was unsafe, but said it was not because of her. 
Hannah was hired on two positions on this film, which made it extremely difficult to focus on her job as an armourer, the statement said. She fought for training, days to maintain weapons and proper time to prepare for gunfire, but ultimately was overruled by production and her department. And yep, I, I firmly believe the producers of this movie are just as culpable as what she is. They should all be bloody charged and chucked in jail. Uh, the whole production set became unsafe due to various factors, including lack of safety meetings. This was not the fault of Hannah. Of course it's your fault. You should not have continued with the movie if you felt it was unsafe. That's the whole point of the head armourer, right? You're supposed to bring these things up. She's inexperienced, so if you were an experienced person, you would have stood up for yourself. But no, she's probably a diversity hire, as I mentioned in my previous video. If you haven't seen that, go and watch it where we discuss whether she is a diversity hire or not. I firmly believe she is. Um, her father is a well-known uh, head armor as well, so you can guess why she got this particular um, job in the movie, right? Because her father basically is very well known. She's a female, um, looks like she's a children's justice warrior looking by her haircut and stuff. Um, so it probably makes sense that she would have been given this job because Hollywood really loves diversity and inclusion. You need to get away from diversity and inclusion, Hollywood. You need, just need to hire the best person for the job, whoever that person might be, right? If it's a man, it's a white man, so be it. If it's a black man, so be it. If it's a white female or a black female, so be it. Whoever it is, I don't care. Doesn't matter about the color of their skin. If they're the best person for the job, they need to be hired. Gutierrez Reed's attorneys, Jason Bowles and Patrick Gorentz, will address more of these rumours and the whole incident next week. How the live ammunition got to the set uh, got to the set on the Bonanza Creek Ranch is at the centre of the investigation. Um, the two and Halls, the two people who are supposed to check weapons for giving them to an actor. So still it's your fault, Gutierrez Reed, because you gave the weapon to the assistant director, who might not have checked it, but you should have checked it first. You didn't do that as well. There should not be any live ammunition on a movie set, the sheriff said, but it was a live bullet that fatally shot Hutchins before landing in director Joel Sousa's shoulder. An investigators took into evidence from the set some 500 rounds, including live, blanks, and dummy bullets, as well as the three guns being used, including a .45 long Colt revolver, which fired the fatal shot as being tested at the FBI crime lab. According to a search warrant filed Wednesday, Gutierrez Reed told authorities no live ammunition should be on the set. Should be on the set, right? It's your job. You should you should know. She said the guns were locked in a prop van, which a limited number of people had the combination for, when everyone broke for lunch. However, the ammunition was ammunition was left out on the cart and not secured. Why did you not secure the ammunition, Gutierrez Reed? That is your job. You should be doing that. After lunch, Zachary pulled the firearms out of the safe and handed them to her. She said during the course of filming the movie, sometimes she handed a gun to Baldwin directly, and other times she handed it to Halls. Does that not sound wrong to you? Surely you would have a process where you hand it to one person who does a double check, who then adds it to the hands it to the actor. She's not doing her job, she's being negligent, and she's being shitty at her job. Right. Her and the producers, they all need to be charged, Alec Baldwin included. Um, they're all as culpable as each other. I don't want her to get away with this just because she's a female and she's a well-known dad. She needs to be held accountable for this. Halls, whose job it was to check the armor's work by looking in the barrel before passing the gun to the actor, said Gutierrez Reed showed him the gun, but he couldn't remember if she spun the drum to show him all the ammunition to make sure it only had dummy bullets. He admitted he should have more thoroughly examined the weapon, but didn't. The affidavit... Both of these two people are culpable. They both missed a live round in the gun. You're both in it, right? Whoever, the, I don't care how it got in the gun, you both missed checking it. It is your jobs to do that. You didn't do your jobs. The sheriff said investigators hope to interview Gutierrez Reed and Halls again to clear up new questions they have. As noted, it was noted they, as well as Baldwin, had been cooperative with investigations so far. Of course they're going to be. They've got no way to get around it, right? They're the only ones that were there. Uh, as well as the other crew. They need to be um, seen to be doing this. I think that's the end of the um, article. So, um, it's I don't care what she says, right? Even if she didn't have the ammunition got to, onto the set, 
the fact that it got into the gun, it's her job to make sure she knows what ammunition is in the gun. It's her job to double check it before she gives it to the assistant director, not handing it to the actor directly. And then it's the assistant director's job to double check that what she's checked and double check to make sure there's no live ammunition in the gun and then hand it to the actor. Right? So it's both of your people's jobs. It's the producer also culpable for going for a diversity hire in my opinion and going for someone who's very cheap. They didn't want to pay for, for a far more experienced person and all of you have cost this amazing person her life. A husband is now widowed and doesn't have a wife to cherish for the rest of his life and they have a kid who's going to not have a mother around while they are growing up which is absolute tragedy an absolute tragedy and people need to be held accountable I really hope they're going to be held accountable but you can see that the blame game has been started already and they're trying to shift the blame from each other to someone else they all need to be charged and hopefully chucked in jail I wouldn't want to see them get away without spending some time in jail because that way it'll send a message to everyone else in Hollywood that this is not acceptable so Hollywood, get rid of the diversity hire shit. You just need to hire the best person for the job, whoever that may be, whatever the skin color, no one cares. If they do the job correctly and do it well, that is all we should be looking for. You know, let you know, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Gutierrez Reed is being genuine or she's just trying to shift the blame? Do you think she's culpable as well as the producers of the show? I'd be really interested to know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, if you don't like the video, you're welcome to give me a thumbs down, and hopefully I will catch you in the next video.